writing an equation and drawing its graph to model a real-world situation in advanced. Marina is driving on the highway. She begins the trip with 14 gallons of gas in her car. The car uses up one gallon of gas every 35 miles. Let G represent the number of gallons of gas she has left in her tank, and let D represent the total distance in miles she has traveled. Write an equation relating G to D, and then graph your equation using the axis below. So I'm going to draw the axis. Okay, so she starts out with 14 gallons of gas. And she's gone zero miles right here. So this side's going to be miles. And it says she's going to use up one gallon of gas for every 35 miles. See, that's in the sentence. So to go down to 13, she'll have driven 35 miles. And then go down to 12, she'll drive another 35 miles, so 35 plus 35 is 70, <coughs> and let's do one more just to make sure we get a good line going. So to use up another gallon of gas, she's going to have to drive another 35 miles. draw a super straight line. <coughs> okay. So, the y-intercept, when she's driven zero miles, was how many gallons of gas? That was 14. And the slope, slope is going down, right? It's negative. She's using up the gas. So she went down one gallon of gas every time she drove 35 miles. Right? That was a rise over run kind of slope, right? Slopes always rise over run. So we use those numbers to help us decide what goes on the top of the fraction and what goes on the bottom. So slope was the y that went down 1, and the x is over 35 in a positive direction. So we have a negative 1 over a positive 35. So this is our g, right? g was the number of gallons of gas, and d was the distance in miles. So our G, which is like our Y, equals minus 1 over 35. Our X side is represented by D. And then we put the Y intercept at the end of positive 14. So this is our equation. G was the y side. We put our slope next to the d, which represented the x side. And then we added the y intercept to finish the equation. <coughs>